Hey, what's up, Sailor Senji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. I am so excited about this video. I have been meaning to do this video since last year, <laughs> and I'm finally getting around to it. What you see here is the full collection of ColourPop and Sailor Moon collaboration. This is the first collaboration from ColourPop that has to do with Sailor Moon, and hopefully we will see more in the future because there's a few things that I didn't like about this and a few things that I did like. Now I wanted to mention I am currently wearing the ColourPop collaboration makeup line today. I'm wearing everything from the blush to the lip gloss and the blotting lip, whatever that is, and the eyeshadow as well. So you can get an idea of what this would look like if you were to purchase this and wear it if you have the same kind of complexion that I do. I honestly don't know that much about doing makeup so I did my makeup beforehand because I didn't know how well it would do if I tried to do it on camera and makeup always takes me a long time when I'm doing it for my studio shows so I just did it beforehand. Hope that's okay. I will still swatch it though. I will show you what swatches look like on my complexion so you can see what it looks like on a very pale and pasty woman. But I also have an announcement because I am doing something really exciting. I'm actually giving away a full set of brand new ColourPop Sailor Moon collection collaboration. Oh my gosh, the entire collection right here. You get every single piece in the collection. It, this is a giveaway just for my viewers. So you have to be a viewer. You have to be a subscriber if you want this, but I'm gonna give it away to somebody. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below that you're interested. And then I will pick a winner, I'll get in touch with you, and then uh, we'll take it from there. This is not sponsored by ColourPop. I purchased these myself, and I made sure to purchase an extra line so that I'd be able to give away this set to somebody in my fandom. And that is partially just as a thank you for sticking around with me, even though I took basically a year off from doing videos on this channel, so. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sticking around and being dedicated fans. And uh, this is one of my ways of showing appreciation. I do a lot of giveaways as well, so make sure to watch my future videos too because I do have some other freebies coming up. So let's go ahead and get into the ColourPop collaboration line. So this came out early last year. It came out with two different blushes. There's an eyeshadow. There's two sets of lip glosses and blotting lips, and then we also have two glitters that you can use on your body. The full set is $94. Then we have the palette, which is $22. We have the pressed blushes, which are $12 each. The ultra blotted lip kit is $16 each. If you wanted to buy a single gloss or a single blotted lip, those are $9 each. And the glitter gel that you can put anywhere on your body is $10. So let's go ahead and start with, let's do the blushes. I like the blushes. So we have two blushes. They're called Cat's Eye and From the Moon. Both of them feature Luna on the front. Not much going on on the back, however, it is recyclable, which is nice. These are also cruelty-free. I did not know that. That's cool. All right, I'll open these. So this first one is called From the Moon, and this is lenticular art on the front. Uh, this is actually lenticular art of a couple of different art frames or animation frames from the original anime from the 1990s. This is from episode one when Skino Usagi finds Luna, and Luna cannot speak because she has a band-aid covering up her crescent moon. Luna is obviously in pain because a few little brats decided to put a band-aid on her, and Usagi is very clueless as far as what she needs to be doing here. She's like, oh, look at this cute kitty. What are you doing, homegirl? Why do you got a band-aid on your head? Let me just take that off so you can start talking to me and so I can turn into Sailor Moon. Okay, enough of that. From the moon, we have a mirror on the inside, which is nice. It's covered up by plastic to keep it nice and pristine. And then we have the first color, which is kind of a bright pink color. It's very, very pinkish. This one, if I swatch it, yeah, it's definitely like a bright pink color. It feels buildable. It's really soft and it's it doesn't come out like really, really thick or anything when I spread it on my hand. It looks pretty, so I definitely like it. The second one is called Cat's Eye. Same art. This one has more of a glitter to it. The first one is more matte, so you can kind of see the glitter when I shift it around in the light. If I swatch this one, I like saying that swatch. This one's got more of a coral 
to it. And when I put it on my hands, definitely need to be buildable. But yeah, you can definitely tell that this one has more of a glitter to it, like a kind of a hollow effect going on there. I think I like the coral color cat's eye a little bit more than the bright pink color. Okay, moving on. I will now show you, hmm, let's do the lips. So there's two sets. You can either buy them separately, which is really cool. They come in slightly different packaging if you buy them all separately, or you can get them as two different sets. We have daylight and moonlight, okay? <laughs> great names, I guess. So first we have Usagi printed on the front one with Luna, and then we have Sailor Moon printed on the Moonlight one with Luna again. Pretty similar printing to the other one with Crescent Moons and some really pretty like holographic foil. I definitely like the art style for these packagings, so I'm going to be keeping those. So on the back we see the four different names for the specific colors of lip glosses and blotted lips. So for the blotted lips, we have Bunhead and Usagi. And then for the ultra glossy lips, we have Sailor Moon and Moon Tiara. Moonlight, Bunhead and Sailor Moon. And then Daylight, which is Usagi and Moon Tiara. Honestly, not much of a difference between these two, but I do like these a little bit more than these. This one is a little bit darker of a pink than Bunhead. So Usagi is a little darker than uh, Bunhead, which you can definitely see that when I show it closer to the camera. And then we have Moon Tiara and Sailor Moon. Moon Tiara and Sailor Moon almost look exactly the same. They're so close in color. I feel like there should have been a little bit more variety going on here because they are just very, very close in shade. This one is a bit more of a nude color and this one has a slight more pink to it. So I'm actually wearing these two today, these are the Moonlight versions, Sailor Moon and Bunhead. I'll swatch these for you. So I do like that the blotted lips are not sticky when you put them on, even though they're pretty thick, even though they come out looking like they would be sticky. So that first one was, I keep on forgetting the names. This one looks thicker, which is interesting. So we have Usagi right there. And then this one is the bun head right there. You can definitely tell that Usagi is darker than bun head. So that's why I like bun head a little bit more is because I like those lighter colors. But while I have been wearing these for the afternoon, I did notice that they, they aren't sticky, which I really like. I find that a lot of times you wear lip glosses that come out like this. And I have to say these are a little bit more dry. So it's no wonder they included lip glosses in these little kits. Okay, so now we have the lip glosses, Moonlight, Daylight, Sailor Moon and Moon Tiara. So first we have Sailor Moon, definitely a lip gloss. And then we have Moon Tiara. You can tell how this one is more of like a peachy nude color while Sailor Moon is more of a pinker color. Both of them do have some glitter in them. So if you don't like glitter, you probably won't like these. And they are a little bit more sticky than the blotted lip. In case you are wondering, I'm wearing cat's eye today for my blush. I love it. Okay, let's do the two glitter gels. So first we have Moonlight Legend and then Moon Prism Power. So I tend to use glitter gels whenever I'm going to events. For example, if I'm going to a Renaissance fair, I will use these as a part of my costume. So I'll put them on my cheeks or on my cheekbones or right at the edges of my eyes. And I think they really add something to the costume when I'm really going for a specific like character. But on a day to day, definitely would not wear these. These would be really cool though, if you're like going to Pride or if you're going to a convention like an anime con, or you just want something that adds a little bit extra to your cosplay. Like that's what I would use this glitter gel for. The glitters are extremely sparkly. There are some little stars in there, which I can see immediately. And they definitely have a lot of a holographic sparkle to the purple one. So that's the purple one. It's definitely a gel too. It's not a liquid. So it comes out and it's very quickly drying on the hand. So I don't feel like it's going to scrape off on stuff very easily. Let's see if I can get it to like come off. Oh, actually it does come off quite a bit. So you probably want to use this with like a setting spray. That's what I would recommend. If you don't use setting spray, uh, Sephora has a great one. It's by Charlotte Tilbury, I think her name is. But that's the purple one. Again, this was Moon Prism Power. And then we have the pink one, which is called Moonlight Legend. This is fun. I feel like I'm playing with paint. So this one has more of a pink color to it. I wonder if there's any stars in this one. I don't see any. Are there stars? Does this one not have any stars? 
Or not. I think this one's just pink. I don't see any stars in it. For that reason alone, I think I like the purple one more. There's the colors on my complexion. Uh, I think they look really cool and they're definitely blingy. So only wear these if you really, really want attention. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wipe it off. Oh my God. This is staying on my hand for the rest of the segment because I cannot wipe it off. It's, it's there forever. Glitter. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and talk about the last one, which is the eyeshadow palette. Here's the eyeshadow palette. Beautiful box. Lovely. Let's go ahead and get it opened. This one also has the lenticular art on the front of it, which features Usagi. It's just like this random one of her freaking out, having her big heart eyes. Kind of makes sense. And it looks very springtime, which is really cute. So I do appreciate the art. Down here it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And then it says Sailor Moon Color Pop. On the back we do have the names, but I'm going to show you the names while we are looking at the colors so you can actually tell which one is which. Interestingly, there is no mirror in here. I feel like they should have included a mirror. Okay, so here we have the names. You can tell that I've already started using it. We have Shining Moon, Twilight Flash, Silver Crystal, Moon Castle, Luna, Mare Serenitatis, Silver Millennium, Full Moon, Justice, Tuxedo Rose, Love, and Miracle Romance. So I do have a few impressions that I wanted to mention about these. I do like that they include this very simple nude color that has just a little bit of sparkle in it, Shining Moon. That's a great base to use, and that's what I'm actually using as a base today. I also ended up using Moon Castle for the corners of my eyes, and then I used Luna over the corners of my eyes to add a little bit of a purple. And I do think that those mixed together to make a really pretty like dark purple color. I also used a little bit of love because it reminded me of my hair and I felt like these two were almost exactly the colors of my hair so I definitely wanted to match those. I used Silver Millennium at the inside corners of my eyes and then down at the bottom as a simple eyeliner and I used a little bit of Mare Serenitatis on the top fold of my eye to give it a little bit more bling. Silver Crystal I used, I don't know what this is called, but I used it up here and then Mare Serenitatis is down here on the fold. So something to mention on here is not intended for use in the immediate eye area. That's for the Mare Serenitatis and that's because it actually has like pretty big gold glitter on there and they don't want you getting that in your eyeballs, but I did it anyway. So there are your colors. So what do you think of these colors? I honestly thought that they were a little bit boring. I feel like they could have done more with the packaging here and offered us some different colors, maybe for each of the inner Sailor Senshi. The two different purples that we have in here is kind of confusing. The Luna one makes sense, but then we have Miracle Romance down at the bottom. It also feels like they were really going for a moon vibe with this entire collection, but it has more of a spring florals, peachy and pink vibe more than a moon vibe. I feel like with a moon vibe, they should have gone with something that had more, maybe some more blues in there to match up with Sailor Moon's uniform or her school uniform. I thought that would have made sense. They do have the yellow in there, but it's only one yellow and it's called Justice. So maybe that kind of matches up with the tiara. I guess that makes sense. Silver Crystal isn't even a silver color. It's more of a light, light, light pink color. So it's not really a silver crystal color. And at some point I feel like they might have run out of ideas for the names because Mare Serenitatis, it's a Latin name for a place on the moon. It's the Sea of Serenity, I wanna say. Mare is sea and then Serenitatis is serenity. And then they have Silver Millennium and Full Moon and Shining Moon. Like there's a lot of moon connotations with this palette, but it doesn't really make sense as far as the colors go and how they tie into Sailor Moon. I hope that makes sense. I just feel like they could have done more with it to make it more exciting. This seems just like any other floral spring color palette that I could purchase through any makeup maker. I did really like the glitter gels. I feel like these were really pretty and they definitely hit the mark on these, especially the purple one. That one looks beautiful. But again, the, the colors don't really match up with the names. Moonlight Legend and Moon Prism Power. Again, we have moon names, but they're just kind of picked out of the comics and picked out of the anime and that's about it. And then we have Cat's Eye and From the Moon. I guess if we're going for a Luna trend there, kind of makes sense. We have Cat's Eye, which sort of matches up with the color of Luna's eyes, which are more red in specific versions of Sailor Moon. And then we have From the Moon, but Luna's from a different planet. 
So, hmm. the lip glosses are probably my least favorite part of the entire collaboration because they're boring. <laughs> There's no variety and they're not that interesting. Like the colors are just so bland. And again, we have the pink and the peaches and not really anything that's Sailor Moon related, but they had the Sailor Moon names, Bunhead, Usagi. Moon Tiara is just kind of thrown in there. And then we have Sailor Moon. I understand what they're going for with the naming conventions for the two lip gloss sets, Moonlight and Daylight. And then we have Usagi and Moon Tiara, but Moon Tiara is an action that she does as Sailor Moon. So maybe that one would go in better with the Moonlight set because the Moonlight set has Bunhead and Sailor Moon. So maybe they should have put Usagi and Bunhead together in the Daylight collection and put Sailor Moon and Moon Tiara in the Moonlight collection. Wouldn't that make more sense? So here's my question about ColourPop. I wonder if maybe somebody just said, oh, the Sailor Moon 90s anime is still popular, so let's do a collaboration. And then they were like wikipedia ing it, and they came up with the names based on what they found on Wikipedia. As far as like moon references and some of the actions and names of the characters, but they didn't really go any farther than just Usagi or just Sailor Moon or just the moon references, like that was it. I'm gonna bring up a completely different show real quick, Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot is about hackers, right? Mr. Robot, as a production, went to real life hackers at real life conventions and at real life information security companies and asked them for help in developing the show, especially when it came to actual hacks that they were showing in the show. I know because they talked to me and they talked to some of my friends that are hackers and a lot of the products that I have literally helped build with Hack5 are in Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot took a very, very smart approach to creating that show and making it as authentic as possible while still making it very Hollywood friendly for a much wider fan base. When it comes to ColourPop, they definitely stuck with the much wider fan base and making all these products somewhat safe. But when it comes to making this collection more authentic for the Sailor Moon fan base, I feel like they missed the mark because it was pretty bland. And when I think of Sailor Moon, I think of exciting. I think of all the characters and not just Sailor Moon. And had they come out with like multiple different colors sets, like they did with Hocus Pocus, for example, the Hocus Pocus collection was adorable. They didn't do that with this one. We only have references to the moon and Usagi and her cat, and that's it. My second problem with this collection is how they came out with the collection in the first place. They greatly underestimated the Sailor Moon fandom in North America and all the places that they shipped to because they sold out in minutes, in seconds. And until we knew that they were going to be restocking, people were reselling entire sets on eBay and Mercari for hundreds of dollars. And that's because they sold out so fast and people were mad and they really wanted this collection because we have not gotten a very good makeup collection here in North America. ColourPop, as well as so many other companies in the United States, greatly underestimate this fandom. They think that we don't exist. So they make like, what, a few thousand of these palettes and then they hope for the best, they hope that's enough. It's not enough because there's a lot of us out there. When ColourPop was introducing this, instead of sending this palette in this collection, the set, to actual Sailor Moon fans, they only sent this set to makeup artists, which is fine because makeup artists can tell you specifics about the makeup, but a lot of those makeup artists had no clue about these references and they had no clue what to say about the art. They had no clue what to say about the names or the titles of these different products. They even received this beautiful box, this Sailor Moon box for PR that they opened up and I, I'm going to throw it out there. I'm betting that a lot of makeup artists just threw away those boxes because they didn't realize how awesome they were. They got Sailor Moon like printed makeup boxes, but us as consumers, we just got the regular ColourPop boxes. And I was kind of upset about that because I would have loved to get this packaged 
in a Sailor Moon box, kind of like what the Makeup Artist PR got. I know a lot of times companies send out PR in very special boxes because they want to make the unboxing process really exciting. I know that because I get PR packages for cell phones and all sorts of different products at my tech channel, but I think it would have been really cool in a nice touch had they included that, that little Sailor Moon box for regular consumers that were purchasing the full set. There was one makeup artist out there who had no clue what this lenticular art was in reference to. She was just like, oh, look, oh, poor kitty, must have gotten hurt or something like that. And I was just like, girl, no, no. <laughs> Girl, you could totally tell that some of these people have never seen Sailor Moon in their life and they were just like trying to talk it up on camera because they got this free PR package and they were supposed to be swatching it and doing makeup and stuff. And I was just like, girl, do some research. If you're gonna talk about Sailor Moon, at least do some research. So now that I'm done venting about my problems with companies that don't understand the Sailor Moon fandom and underestimate us and create something that they just wanna push out and make money off of, and they don't really give it any kind of heart when they are working on the product and they don't really give us something that can be like, wow, this is amazing. They totally understand our fandom. They just kind of push it out there and hope that we we like it, even though it's obvious that it was just read off of a Wikipedia website. With that said, I do think ColourPop makes some really good makeup. Um, I really like the eyeshadows. I had a little bit of fallout with the glitter, especially on my cheeks. So I would definitely recommend using something to cover that up. I really like the lightness of the blushes. I like that I can build them up to the desired amount so they don't feel crazy, crazy bright on my cheeks. And I also really love the glitters and I think those are gonna be super useful and I do fully intend to wear those whenever I'm going to Renaissance fairs or anime conventions, maybe even Disneyland. I could totally wear that there. Don't forget about the giveaway. Again, all you have to do is subscribe and comment down below and I will randomly pick a subscriber to win the full set of ColourPop collection items. And let me know what you think as well. I'm super curious if you feel the same way about this collection or if you think it's awesome or if you think it sucks, let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Janet. My shirt was from, I wanna say Hot Topic, Maybe it was box lunch. I always forget which one these shirts come out at, but I like it.